What's going on guys, it's the Bag of Tricks here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about how you should mount your skis. Um, winter is approaching, a lot of you probably picked up new skis during the off season and now you're ready to go mount your bindings on them. And you may be wondering what line should I use because skis have multiple lines for mounting bindings. There's the recommended midsole line, there's maybe the true center midsole line. Um, it kind of depends on what skis you buy. But this can be very, very confusing because when I was younger, the first time I went to go uh, mount up skis, he asked me how do I want them mounted and I said oh, I'll just mount them center. And I was under the impression that that meant they would put the bindings directly in the center of the ski, um, you know, so the tip and tail were equal length. What ended up happening is they mounted it to the recommended center line. So they, the, the midsole line was on that recommended line. You guys might be wondering what is the difference between true center and that recommended center line. So that recommended center line is a pressure point that's supposedly the best place to mount your boot to get the best um, performance out of the flex pattern of your ski. A lot of the times this is not true center on your skis. So true center would be where the tip and tail are equal length um, from the middle of your boot. And for park skiers that's pretty much what you always want. Even though, even though the recommended flex pattern may have your boot shifted back or shifted forward a little bit, uh, generally for park skiing you want your boot true center on that ski. That gives you the best weight distribution um, when you're sliding rails, when you're spinning, when you're landing, switch, forward. Everything is symmetrical and that's what you want for skiing in park because you're landing backwards, you're landing forwards. Uh, you're doing all kinds of stuff that requires your tip and tail to be pretty much the same length and same weight. If you don't have it uh, dead center and you have it on that recommended flex line, you might have better flex and like a better feeling ski. I guess, I, I highly doubt you'll really be able to notice much at all, um, but you're not going to be centered so when you hit a rail, you know, you're not going to have the same weight on the front of your ski as you would on the back. So it, it gets a little weird, it definitely doesn't look super stylish when you don't have them true center. And anytime I see a park skier doing that, I'm kind of like, brother, you got to get those bad boys true center. So how should you mount your park skis? I would 100% recommend getting them true center on the ski 100% of the time. Ignore that other line um, and just get a true center. As you can see on my Chronics, it has a line for true center and then the recommended line. So obviously they know a lot of people are going to do a true center mount and it's not going to affect performance too much. It's going to make you much more stylish and it's probably going to feel better on rails and jumping to have that true center mount. So that's what I would go for. That is what I suggest. So this season, be sure to tell them when you go into the ski shop, I want my bindings directly in the center of the ski with an equal tip and tail. They'll know what you mean. Thanks for watching guys. I hope this helped. Stoked for the season to start. I will see you in the next video. Peace.